Welcome, Adores. Working on project tasks can become overwhelming at times, especially if they are complex and require several steps to complete. Luckily, Odoo offers the possibility of breaking down a task into several subtasks, and today we will learn all about it. All right, let's go. So since the subtasks feature is available out of the box, we can just go ahead into our project application. We don't need to configure anything. We'll just go straight into our Jurassic walking tours. And we can see which one of our uh, tasks have subtasks, subtasks already linked to them by uh, this little uh, check mark icon and the, amount of, and the amount of tasks. I will open the fossil digging workshop. And if I go into the subtasks tab, I can see in more detail what kind of subtasks I have linked. I can also create a new one directly from here by adding a line. So I can call it uh, send invites. That's something we always need to do. I can change the assignees or add more. Uh, by default, it's assigned to the persons who are handling the parent task. I could also uh, configure some uh, things just from the subtasks tab. So I could start this task as high priority. I could change its status if I wanted to. And I can also go directly into the task. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, let's just save view our task, and here we are in the subtask, and we can see that it's a subtask because we have a parent task uh, smart button at the top of the screen, which would take us directly to the parent task, of course. Now we can also fill in, we can basically act like this is just another task, so we can fill in our description, we can add timesheets, uh, we could uh, add tags and so on. But one thing that I want to point out specifically here is that uh, by default, our project field for a subtask is empty. So this means that uh, the, task, the subtask is not linked to any project, so we will not see it in the Kanban view of our project. Wait a minute, why would I want to see my subtasks in the Kanban view of the project I'm working on? Good question. Well, if you have many subtasks linked to the main task, your Kanban view might get a little bit crowded and you might lose that clear overview that is so important for effective project management. Another use case could be that each subtasks, uh, each subtask excuse me, follows an independent flow. So for example, we could be talking about a specific service package uh, or it could be that your subtask uh, is part of a different project than the main task. So here, for example, sending invitations uh, it could fall under the scope of the administration administration project that we have, or even creative project, or any of the other projects that we have existing in RDB. Uh, in this case, for this exercise, we will just say that this uh, we want to see this subtask in the Kanban view of our main project, which is the Jurassic Walks. So I'll go ahead and save this. And let me just show you what this looks like from the Kanban view. So we'll go back to the Jurassic Walking Tours. And here we can see that the send invites task, uh, subtask, excuse me, is showing up here now in the incoming Kanban stage. I could, of course, drag and drop it to another stage. I could go in, uh, set up uh, some other parameters of the task uh, and continue working just as if it was um, a normal task, not just a subtask. Uh, and again, uh, whenever I am uh, done with any of my subtasks, I could uh, see it directly from the Kanban card of the parent task. So here I have sent invitations. I could mark it as done uh, directly from the parent task or again from the Kanban card if this is the case. Uh, so hopefully this was helpful in understanding how subtasks work in Odoo. And thank you so much for watching and see you soon in another video.